everyone. This is Miss Lee. Welcome to Crafting with Miss Lee for Wacky Wednesday. Today, I would like to show you how to make your own puzzle from an empty cereal box. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, everybody, uh, let's go over what we need for this project. So you will need empty cereal box like one of these. You will need to open up this one open up already and you want to cut a piece cut a piece for your project and I have one cut right here the next step you want to pick a picture you can either make a copy from a book or from internet and I have some copy made and if you are new to making a puzzle I suggest you use something simple like this image. So I pick a toucan. Here's my copy. Once you pick out an image, you cut around and then you will trace the outline onto your prepared piece. Here's one I have traced already. So the next step, you will paint entire image. And I have one paint right here. Now, I use acrylic paint. You can use either regular acrylic paint or you can use the craft acrylic paint. And you allow this to dry at least a couple hours. The last step, before you're cutting the image, you will want to seal this with Mod Podge. This is water-based sealer and it give you a really nice finish. Like this, you can see all this shiny on the surface. Now, if you don't have Mod Podge, you can make yourself one by simply add two parts of Elmer's glue and one part of water, like this. And I have a sample made ahead of time. You can see this one is homemade Mod Podge and this one is store bought. You can see a little bit of shiny on the surface. As you can see, when I apply this Mod Posh to the surface, it looks cloudy, but don't worry. When it dry, it will dry completely clear like one of these. Once you have Mod Podge completely dry, you want to flip to the back of this painting. Now you see that I already drew all this line for puzzle pieces, and you want to make sure you have a square piece like mine. This is about an inch and a half square pieces. Now when you get to the end, don't worry if you don't have a perfectly square, that's completely fine. Once you have all I draw out, then you want to cut it apart. And I have one cut apart already right here. Now this is your complete project. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.